Sticking with hoops, sectionals continuing tonight. We'll start in 3A, sectional 22 at Garrett. Dwinger taking on Woodland. Take you late in this one. Fourth quarter, Saints down three. Owen Shively cans the three ball from the wing. He had 15, ties the game up, sends it to overtime, tied at 53. In the OT, one point Woodland lead now until Joe Reedy gets to the cup. The St. Francis commit with two of his game high, 25. Makes it a three-point ball game. Under 30 seconds to go. Lead up to four. Saints go inside to Bo Jackway. Two of his team high, 17 right here. Put him on the line as well. He missed the free throw, so Dwenger's down two, but they get the ball back, and they've got a chance to tie or win. Henry O'Keefe opts for the win. But the shot, well, it's not even close. Saints can't get another look after that. Woodland moves on with the 65-63 dub in overtime. So the Warriors are going to take on the winner of the nightcap. Concordia squaring off with your host, Garrett. Kadet started this thing off hot. Nice pass inside here to Cole Hayworth. Giving him the hoop and the harm. This all part of a 9-1 run to start things for Concordia. Railroaders, they would settle down after that. Drayton Myers hits the three from the wing. It's a five-point game after one. And... Hey, they would keep it close all night long. Props to Garrett. Actually had a look to win late, but Joe Tapp and Concordia hang on for a tight one. 42-40, the final. Cadets win. Concordia going to see Woodland in the sectional semis on Friday. On to Class 2A, sectional 35 at Westview. Fairfield and Eastside, they have a date with each other in the sectional semifinals on Friday. Falcons top Bremen, 53-42. Blazers take down the host, Westview, 42-32. Staying in Class 2A, sectional 36 at Bluffton. First match of the matchup of the night pits the TRC versus the ACAC Wabash taking on Adams Central, and it was the Jets getting to work early, and they went inside to their big man, Ethan Poling, looking like a man amongst children. Gets the deuce, AC on top, but he wasn't done. Big man, going to show off a little bit of range here this time. Hits the jumper from outside. He had 28 Extends that AC lead, but Apaches, they do have an answer. Andrew Dinkins finds Grant Ford off the drive and kick. That's a three ball from the corner for Ford. Makes it an eight-point game, but it was all AC from there. Brayson Yergler, nice finish at the rim from the big fella. He had 18 on the night. Flying Jets fly away with the dub. AC advances 66-51. They move on to face the winner of the late game between the hosts Bluffton and Canterbury. First quarter, Harrison Schreiber, all gas, no breaks. Straight to the cup for two of his 11. It's a three-point lead for the home squad. A few possessions later, Cavs answer. Adam Nassauer muscles his way into the cup for a pair. He had 11, and just like that, it's a one-point ball game. But again, Bluffton not backing down. Sam Baumgartner drops in the three ball, cuts into that Canterbury lead, but the Cavs took control and never gave it back. Aiden Muldoon down for the easy end one. Canterbury Cruises 59-42. They're going to see Adam Central Friday night at 730.